Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Mascara Magic. Well the third and final vlog for today is a third latest in beauty box and I promised it's my last one for the next like month because yeah I got April's box three weeks late which I've just shown you earlier today. If you haven't checked that out go into my video list and you'll find it just if you're interested in watching these kind of products. And then I got two boxes for me, which pretty much both came at the same time. So my next box should be in June because I've canceled the April subscription so that I've only got two subscriptions running at the moment because I had three. I don't know how I had three guys, don't ask us how. Somehow I must have used a different email address and bleh. Anyway, so, here goes. <laughs> Grab yourself a cup, of sit back and enjoy. Although it won't be that long. I promise I'll try to keep the waffle into a bare minimum. <laughs> so it comes in this kind of recyclable box, which is good because you can whack it in your wheelie bin or burn it on your chimney fire like my husband does. I was going to say like I do, but it's not me who does that. It's him. But I provide the material. Me material being beauty boxes and cardboard and rubbish. <laughs> anyway, so... This is the six item box, which costs £15, which includes postage and is good value for money, depending on what items you pick. It's that kind of beauty box where it's got a bit of an edge because you pick your own items. So you can't whinge about what you get, guys, because you've picked them yourself. The only thing you can whinge about is if you get something out of date or a bit stinky, which unfortunately has happened to me again this month. But I'm really not bothered because look... I was going to say look fantastic. Latest in Beauty have got an amazing customer service team and they get back to your emails pretty much within the same day as long as it's a weekday. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with how quick they get back to you to try and resolve problems and issues. So here goes. I'll show you the products. The first product I got is the one that I think is out of date, guys. It's by a brand called Patchology and it's the Mood Patch Chill Mode under eye gels now these contain cannabis seed oil i believe which is probably just hemp soothing cannabis seed oil but i'm pretty sure it's hemp but it's pretty much the same thing anyway there's a little what i think is a date like on imprinted on the back and it says 041119 which indicates to me the 4th of november 19 2019 so these could be out of date, guys. That's something that I'm going to have to contact them about. I've already contacted them about a lip balm in the previous box, which had gone a bit stinky. It didn't smell good at all. But like I say, I cannot fault their customer service. It is top notch. So anyway, that's the first product and I'll show you what it looks like. So basically, it's just a couple of under eye patches. Hopefully my camera's focusing because I can't see what I'm showing you. Anyway, I've used these kind of products before, but not this exact one. So I did want to see what they were going to be like. However, if they're out of date, I probably won't be using them. Um, but anybody who doesn't mind trying something out, which is a couple of months past its best, then you're welcome to them. If you live nearby and you want to pick them up. <laughs> anyway, so that's the first product. It's probably only worth about £5 at a guess. The second product is something I got purely for a giveaway. So this is to go in a giveaway or possibly for a birthday or Christmas for someone. Haven't quite made me mind up about that yet, guys. So you might be surprised to see it in a giveaway or you might not. You might see something much better. <laughs> so this is by Dr. Botanicals and it's the Hemp Moisturiser. Basically, it is a nutrition moisturiser and it's 30 millilitres. And I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see what it looks like. It's actually a really, really nice product. I've actually got this already. I got it in a Look Fantastic box. I think it was a couple of months ago. And I opened it and tried it out. And it was like a pale green colour. I think I was quite afraid that once I put it on my face, I was going to look like Shrek. I didn't look like Shrek. It just went completely transparent. And yeah, it's uh, it was fine. <laughs> it smells nice and herbal. If you like that kind of herbal smell... But if you like fragrance free, then this won't be a product that you would like. Um, and I found it okay. I only used it a couple of times. I didn't use it long enough to make a complete informed kind of review of it. I just thought it was okay. So yeah. Anyway, I got that purely to go in some kind of giveaway or gift box. So yeah, I'm always thinking ahead of these things because before we know it, it's going to be Christmas. 
Anyway, next product, I couldn't pass up another Lucky Dip Topshop lipstick. However, I got one that I've already got and I showed you it in the last box. It's the shade Saint, which is like a kind of pinky, peachy colour. I don't know if you can see on the lid, although you probably can't. And I've already took it off the back of my hand because I've washed my hand. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll open it up and show you the colour, but I'm not going to swatch it because this will be going in a giveaway. Oh, this smells so nice. They smell just like MAC lipsticks. They smell really, really nice. Oh, you can see the colour really quite well there. I'm happy with that. Anyway, I wasn't too sure whether this was the type of colour that I would like on my lips. It's alright, it's not bad. But for me, I would like prefer to team that up with a slightly darker lip kind of gloss or coloured lipstick. Um, but yeah, it's a nice product. I like the formula and I like the productivity. And they are cruelty free. Just to put that out there because I had to double check that the other night. So anyway, this is going in a giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled for that product because it's a nice one. It really is nice. The next product, I was a little bit like, oh my goodness, what's in this bag? Like it looked really posh, like a little black linen drawstring bag. I thought that had been put in there by mistake. I thought I'd got some kind of jewellery item. No, I didn't get a jewellery item. It is a nail polish remover pad. Now, it just looks like a microfiber little cloth that you would use to kind of take your makeup off with. And it's black. It's double sided and it's by a brand called The Sign Tribe. Never heard of this brand, but I thought, you know what? I paint my nails like every couple of days and I use cotton wool pads to take my nail polish off. So I thought I'm going to try and be a little bit more eco-friendly and use a reusable one. Now I thought this would last like forever and ever, pretty, mo pretty much until it kind of, you know, gets threadbare. Apparently they only last 25 goes, so I'll see how it goes. But you just wash them with like soapy water and hopefully they'll kind of wash okay. Never tried anything like that for nail polish before, so fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed it's alright. If anyone has tried anything like that, please let us know what you think for specifically taking off nail polish. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to use it for that, though, you can use them as a facial cleansing cloth. <clears throat> so yeah, that product's for me. So far, there's like one product for me. And the next two are for me, seeing as it's my box. <laughs> anyway, absolutely could not pass up the offer of this product. I saw it on there and I was like get me that product in that box so it's huge it's absolutely huge it is the jerleek rose balancing face mist i think that's what it's called rose water balancing mist it's the intense deluxe edition the bottle in the box is just it's so so pretty <clears throat> i don't know if you can see it i don't know if my camera's focusing come on there you go, you can see it there a little bit. Anyway, absolutely stunning and huge. The box just looks really luxurious. Like you can tell looking at it that it just looks expensive. Like it looks nice, kind of good brand. Anyway, the box, the bottle itself is a glass bottle. So I'm gonna be careful not to drop it here and show you what it looks like. It's just like a pinky color, very, very girly very very nice me likey so the first time i tried this within was in rockerbox this month i got a, a little small kind of deluxe mini size one tried it on my face absolutely loved it a really nice refreshing kind of spray which you can use as a toner or you can just use to kind of freshen your face up day night whenever but I've tried it once or twice, however, I'm going to give the small bottle to my mum just so she can see what it's like, see if she likes it. Because I've got this humongous bottle to get through now. So, yeah. This was on there. I could not pass up the chance of getting it for a couple of pounds because this has got to be worth about £20 for this bottle. It's huge. And like I say, I haven't even tested it out yet. I hope it sprays okay. Yay, it did. Oh, it smells so nice. Actually, I'm going to spray some on my face. I was worried in case it was going to come out like a Nerf gun there. But it came out like quite a fine spritz. So that's good. Really, really nice bottle. Love, love, love this product. 
if you don't like the smell of rose you're probably not going to like it but it's not it's not too overpowering it's quite subtle but you can still smell rose i'm not going to lie you can definitely smell rose so absolutely love that product love 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 the final product is a hair color and it's a vegan friendly one and I actually chose the wrong colour, but never mind, it'll be fine because it's pretty much my hair colour anyway. It's by Umberto Gianni, which I've been going for years. And it's a Flowerology Naturally Kinda Vegan Colour. So this is ammonia free and it's supposed to be really kind on your hair. And um, it's supposed to be kinder to your hair than other colours. Although I tend to use the Garnier Nutrice ones, which tend to be alright. But yeah, I thought I would try it, seeing as it was on the on the list. I thought I'd give it a go because my hair is desperate to be coloured. I am sporting about a million silver highlights. Silver highlights, in other words, grey hair, guys. The joys of getting older. And you can notice it with dark hair, whereas when you're blonde, you can't really see it too much. But when you've got dark hair, it's an absolute curse. Anyway, this is in the shade number 5, medium brown. The one that I wanted was the 5.34 chestnut brown because my hair's more chestnut brown coloured. Um, but this will be fine. It'll cover a few greys. It's fine. It'll do. So yeah, never tried this brand before for hair colours, but I have had hair products off them before, which have always been okay, like not bad. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. And the box is really quite pretty. It's got like a floral design on, and the colour, like I say, is a mid-brown. It's pretty much my hair colour, so I'm sure it's going to be alright. So I'll use that within the next few weeks because my hair is crying out for colour. Anyway, just a quick run through and recap of the products. So I've got the Umberto Gianni hair colour in shade number 5, medium brown. We've got the amazing Jurlique Rosewater Balancing Facial Mist, which is oh, this product alone I would have been happy to pay £15 for because it is really, really nice. But the fact that I got it part of this box is like amazing. I've got the reusable nail polish remover pad which I'm really really intrigued to try. I will try that the next time I take my nail polish off. I've only just took my nail polish off today actually but I really quickly did it because I've got like three broken nails. Ugh, seriously my nails at the minute are terrible. Loads of them are breaking. Anyway so I'll use that next time. We've got the Dr Botanicals hemp moisturizer for the face. Really nice product, but again, this has got a seal on. I'm not going to open it. And it's for a giveaway or a gift box. The Topshop lipstick, again, for a giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And the Patchology eye gels, under eye gels, which I think are out of date. So I'm going to email um, Latest in Beauty about that. Just when I email a picture of the lip balm and the date that I think's on the date. So yeah, I'm not too sure. Anyway and that is those. If they weren't out of date, I would try them out and use them, but sadly they are, I think, out of date. They'd probably still be all right, you know. I swear to God, if I used them, they probably wouldn't make any difference to being a few months over, but seeing as, you know, they might be sending them out to other clients, other customers, I thought I might as well let them know, give them a heads up, so they can check their stock in their warehouse at some point when they've got time. Anyway, <clears throat> as you can tell, the voice is going really croaky. That's because I'm so thirsty, guys. I'm really, really thirsty. I'm going to go downstairs and have myself a pint of juice. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you've got any of these products, tried any of them, let us know your thoughts on them. Um, if you like them or if you don't like them yourself, if you've tried them. And like I say, I will whack a code in the description bar where you can get your first box for six items for half price which is amazing. If you get like the Jurlique kind of face mask, like products like that, amazing value, like absolutely out of this world, amazing. Anyway, right, I'm gonna go now. Take care, stay safe, look after yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.